Hello and welcome to morebikes.co.uk. We're here at uh, Ron Haslam Race School at Donington Park and here is the man himself. It's been 20 years, Ron, the school's been running. Yeah, uh, you know, 20 years, you know, it's incredible, you know. Yeah. When we first started it, we was expecting probably three, maybe four years, you know, yeah. before it started calming off. And to be fair, everybody enjoyed it that much. Uh, it seemed to it seemed to got better and better as it's gone along. You yeah. Know? Uh, the efforts obviously got stronger and stronger, purely I think because we've enjoyed it so much. Yeah. And what was it to begin with? What what gave you the uh, the nudge to go for the training school? Well, it's like anything. It's like all you know, racing lads. Uh, when they start going a bit older and it's getting harder to get rides. Um, I don't know if I'm different or not, but I just love riding bikes. You know, it won't. I won't riding bikes because it made me money or anything like that. Mm. Yes, it did at the end, but that was just a bonus. You yeah. know, um, so I didn't want to come out of bikes. And when the opportunity to come up from uh, at the time it was Robert Fennell from Donington Park, Nonda, um, they says, why don't you try and run a race school? You know, see yeah. what you like. Well, I thought they meant me just overlook it, yeah. not actually run it. Yeah. Um, but no, they said no. We want you to actually set it up and run it. And uh, to me and Anne, that was a big shock. It's yeah. like, we knew nothing about running businesses or anything. Yeah. We just, I was just a racer. Yeah. That was it. You know, uh, but we got heads together and uh, put a plan together, and uh, it was great. Really enjoyed it. It, yeah. it like we did it more for, I would say, pleasure. Uh, in other words, first off, it, well, it'd be a bit of pleasure, and it might pull some money in after that. Uh, I'll get 20 days in the year on the circuit. I thought great. We yeah. loads. On the providing loads of bikes for me, yeah. um, and that, at that point, that was like, oh, I was saying that's enough for me. I'm happy, you know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it just progressed on, yeah. it progressed on. Twenty years later, it, it is a good business, um, but I'm still enjoying it, yeah. basically. And obviously, you're you've got a, a wonderful career behind you in racing, and also a lot of the instructors here are either ex racers or have have had their, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's but, it's great because as I say. You know, I've not really come out of racing because Leon, uh, my lad, has yeah. been in racing all the while since I've packed up. And uh, you get here with all the instructors and it's uh, a lot of the old faces, a lot of new faces, a lot yeah. of young lads. Uh, and they love the opportunity to go around Donington Park instructing and uh, really sitting on a bike. Basically what I like, I just like racing and most <laughs> of the instructors are the same. So it's great to give them the opportunity and yeah. uh, you know, they're very appreciative and they, they do a really good job. Yeah. And what would you say are the, the three key things that people who come and, and take a, a course here could come away with? <clears throat> well, you get a few different types of people. Um, mainly, you get what you call back to bikers. They, they've had a bike when they was young and they've not had it, you know, and then they've uh, got family issues, you know, probably not. They've gone into families and stuff and, uh, you know, they've back to bike, you know, and uh, it's an easy way for them to come and have a go. And uh, my side of it, going onto a track, it's it's even more exciting than riding on the road. You know, so when they come back onto the track, so you get back to bike, as you get first uh, motocross lads, young lads that uh, want to try and make a career into the tarmac. Uh, so you get a lot of motocross lads coming through. Um, then you get another set where you get club lads that want to go further. You know, so you know going to the national, international scene. They they sort of progress from that area. And again, we, now we're getting quite a lot of girls that okay, works yeah. into it. So, like, uh, it's a variety of yeah. people, you know. We've had from 75-year-olds down to 12-year-olds, yeah. you know, which is, on my side, it's fantastic. And uh, just briefly, how, how, how does it work on the day? Um, if you want to come here and, and do, the, do the experience, what, what can you expect? Well, the first thing, I try to, we try to make it as easy as possible for you. So, even if you're a... A young lad or a businessman or whatever you want it means that you can just turn up in your car come here and we'll provide everything we'll provide bikes leathers boots everything you can come in uh, your sunday best suit doesn't matter we'll sort you out from there onwards all we do say is it's nice if you can change gear on the bike you know so if you can physically change your gear on a bike that's yeah. a big bonus then we can okay. go we can go straight to the circuit then okay. you know um so that's one big bonus you don't need anything except turn up yourself um and from there we take it from there you know we'll we'll go from the beginning side where you've only just you know started to ride a bike or you you know you're into the racing side that wants to get a bit more mileage a bit more tips you know so we pretty much cover all what we want as far as 
the biggest thing you've got to enjoy it so that we tend yeah. to put a lot of stuff in here where it's planned as an exercise but also for enjoyment yeah you know yeah, yeah. so we call it playtime yeah. which really also you know it's also uh, a learning curve you know yeah, and that's yeah. i find that's the easiest way to do it for yeah. so as i say any anything from a one two five bike to a blade you know we can sort yeah. you out on anything like that and uh, you know seems to work really well for them and you do this is the first day of the year and you have 20 all together over there yeah we get 20 days in the year and we have to pick them at the beginning of the year so that's a bit awkward because uh, weather in england as everybody knows uh, so yes we do get some wet days which again when you first get a wet day uh, you see all the customers quite miserable yeah. on a bike in the wet it's not really you know yeah. they're, they're seeing but time they've been on the track once or twice you know they they realize that they can learn just as much in the wet and it's just yeah. as much fun yeah. you know uh so they come away quite quite well so yeah. 20 days of the year we uh, get the chance to you know make a lot of people happy hopeful anyway very good well thanks very much for talking to us ron it's been Thank it's you. been a pleasure Cheers. that's all from us uh for today but uh, stay tuned on morebikes.co.uk